Mineral corticoid receptor antagonists, such as spironolactone, are commonly used in the treatment of heart failure, but why are they used so often? Now, to answer this question, we have to look at a landmark study published in the New England Journal of Medicine in 1999 called the RAILS study. This double blind randomized study enrolled 1,663 patients with heart failure and an injection fraction of 35% or less. 822 of these patients were randomly assigned to receive 25 milligrams of spironolactone daily and 841 were given placebo. Now the results were staggering. Within 24 months, the total mortality was 45% in the placebo group and 36% in the group given spironolactone. The findings were so conclusive, the trial was actually stopped early. Side effects that must be considered before giving this drug include the development of hyperkalemia, hypotension and gynecomastia. This drug is contraindicated in severe kidney disease. The mechanism these drugs help in heart failure is disputed, but it's believed that the hormone aldosterone promotes fibrosis of the heart myocardium. This hormone is particularly active in severe heart failure. The blocking of this hormone by using drugs such as spironolactone helps promote cardiac remodeling.